Nobody cares. Somebody didn't count, right? Everybody showed? <laughs> None. When they sit, four of them will hit the floor. It looks like they're all done. Okay. And then we'll find out when they sit down, won't we? Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to welcome each of you to the commencement exercises of the 121st graduating class of Coldwater High School. Would you please stand and join in the singing of our national anthem and remain standing for the invocation which will be offered by Miss Christy Bightwork. pray. Dear Lord, thank you that we can come here before you through Jesus Christ. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be here. Thank you for the parents that have helped us and encouraged us up to this point in our lives. Thank you for the experiences that have made us the people we are today and for the teachers for all that they have taught us. Thank you for the others who have had a part in our education. Lord, we pray that you would help us to use what they have taught us in a way that would honor and glorify you in the future. We pray that you will give all that we have. We pray that you will give all that have a part in the ceremony tonight the strength to perform well that it might please you. Lord, help us to recognize that it is only because of your will that we are here. Use events like this to draw us closer to you. Lord, help us to recognize the fact that if we acknowledge you in all that we do, you will direct our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Good evening. Elementary, middle, and high school have been full of both good and bad memories, challenges, and achievements. For 13 years, we have been taught many things, and hopefully we learn most of them. School to some was probably a bore, to others just a place to meet friends, but to all a place to experience new ideas and learn many things. If it wasn't, why are we here tonight? If we didn't want to learn, we would not have stayed. All those years of lectures, tests, and homework will end tonight with one single slip of paper. Who would have ever guessed that a single slip of paper would be so important? The diploma is a sign of 13 hard years of work and determination. It informs the people that we have done something with our lives and we're proud to have done it. Whatever the future holds, whether going right to work or going to college, it will be completely new and different. We'll no longer be high school students, but we'll bring along what we learned in school, and hopefully that will partially prepare us for the real world. Believe it or not, we have gained the ability to learn new ideas. Whether or not all those ideas will help us to succeed is unknown. 
but the ability to learn can be applied to any situation. Our teachers and parents have prepared us for the future. Now let's see what we can make of ourselves. Even when the future isn't perfect, always face the problem and you'll overcome it. You may fall behind, but bounce back. Remember, our greatest glory consists not in never falling, but in rising every time we do fall. We have accomplished so much in 13 years of school, and now the future is ours. No one knows what we'll accomplish. Well, this is it. It's the end, but also a new beginning. 13 years of school are coming to the close, but the rest of our life is opening. Tonight we will receive our diplomas, the passport to our future. The time for sitting in a high school classroom is over. We must now face our future. We have been taught many things, and we must apply them to our lives. Remember the good times and learn from the bad, and have the best and most successful life you can have. Thank you. Good evening, and congratulations to the seniors. After this summer, we, all of us will be entering a new and exciting world whether it be work or college. It will be a world in which it will be easy to lose sight of everyone but yourself. That's a mistake most people in our society have made, one I hope our generation can correct. I hope that this generation will, will be able to look past solely living for its own wants while still maintaining individual, individualistic qualities that, that have made everyone of this graduating class so different from one another. The society we live in now is one that has lost sight of the welfare of the unit each individual helps create. They've forgotten that this unit has needs and troubles that can only be solved by loyalty, devotion, and sacrifice. Right now our country is full of people who point out faults and do plenty of complaining, but they propose no answers, and when answers are proposed, they're not willing to sacrifice enough to make them work. So many of the problems, problems our country is currently faced with are a result of the lack of sacrifice and mutual support of our people. Now things such as the national debt have grown into huge problems. Before the problems such as this get even larger than they presently are, we must work to solve them. We can no longer leave these troubles alone, think that the next generation can take care of them. It's thinking like this that has created these problems. I know saying that this is what we must do is much easier than actually doing it, because it won't be easy. Every one of you, including myself, must be willing to be inconvenienced in order to bypass the obstacles our country is currently faced with. We must all grow in our loyalty and patriotism. We can no longer sit around and say that it's someone else's problem. We must all band together and work as one for the betterment of our country. Just as important as sacrificing of ourselves and working collectively is maintaining our individuality, it's just as important to have your own ideas and express them. If no one had ever done this, our country would not be what it is today. So try to develop your own ideas and solutions, then work together to make them a success. Some might say I've just contradicted myself by telling you to be both collective and individual at the same time, but that's not true. There is no conflict in being both supportive and different. The purpose of our system of government is to choose the ideas that are best than to work for them together. I hope that all of you graduating seniors will keep my words in, will keep <clears throat> will keep my words in mind as you go your separate ways. I know it won't be easy. Just don't forget what I have said. It'll be just as easy for me to do the same. But I hope you all realize the time for indifference is gone. We are the ones that can make a difference now. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, dear seniors, I'm extremely honored to talk to you here tonight, not because I'm a foreign exchange student from Germany, but more because I'm proud to be a part of Coldwater's class of 1988. I live with my parents and two of my three sisters in a town called Soltau, Soltau excuse me, <laughs> which has about 20,000 citizens and is located between Hamburg and Hanover, 60 miles west from the East German border. 
In that town I attended a school called Gymnasium, which can best be described as a college prep school. I left that school after 10th grade to come here for one year to the United States, and I will go to that school after this summer for three more years in order to graduate from that school again by finishing the 13th grade, hopefully. <laughs> Since in Germany a peacetime draft is in existence, I will have to join the armed forces for 18 months, but I probably will volunteer for two years to earn money for college. My future after that is not yet planned, but I do believe that I want to go to college here in the United States and study law and business, hopefully the University of Michigan, if I get accepted. <laughs> At this time, I would like to thank the Coldwater students and the faculty for the hospitality and patience they had with me, which made me feel very comfortable, and I sometimes even felt like somebody from Coldwater with a strong German accent and not like a German anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I greatly admired your sports program here in Coldwater, which is in no comparison to German sports programs in school. As a matter of fact, they don't exist in German schools. <laughs> don't make me <laughs> I very much enjoyed, and enjoyed watching your football and basketball games, two sports which are not played in Germany. It took me a while to figure out football out, but I finally <laughs> made it. And I also enjoyed participating in cross-country and track. Unfortunately, my athletic skills are limited to playing soccer, but that's nice. Um, but my stay here in Coldwater was also very educational for me. I was able to improve my English skills, although it might not sound that way to you. I learned a lot about your history, was able to view history from a totally different perspective, and I got accustomed to a lot of different cultures, which was not always very easy, but sometimes a lot of fun too. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing I learned here in Coldwater is to value and appreciate a country system which has provided its citizens more than 200 years of liberty and freedom, which is unrepeated in world's history, and which I gratefully and greatly admire and of which you should be very proud. I do know that this speech is for some people maybe too long because they want to get their diplomas and get out of the school. <laughs> but I also hope that for some some people might know more. Excuse me. That some people would maybe. N sorry. But the, <laughs> but I also hope that some some people would like to know more about Germany or my myself myself. However, I don't want to make a nice story about me or my country but I only want to thank you and express my great appreciation for you and your country. Especially I want to thank my host family, the Dallies, for their patience, endurance, and for everything they had to put up with. The faculty, which probably didn't have a very easy time with me, and of course, the students of Coldwater High School. Thank you very much, and may God bless you. for letting me stay here this year. I can be we're finally graduating. Can you be we don't have to come here any, anymore at 8 10? <laughs> and you are no longer high school student. This year passed so fast for me. It seems like yesterday was my first day of school and I ran all over the hallway because I don't know where I have to go. <laughs> Plus I couldn't get that down locker open. <laughs> I was so nervous because everything is so different from my Japanese school and I didn't understand what everybody was talking about. Um, I participated in varsity volleyball team, marching band, symphonic band, model UN, cross-up trip, truck team. According to this experience, 
I had an opportunity to get to know many people, and I learned about life of the United States. Now you are all going into your new world after tonight. I know it's going to be hard for us all sometimes because we will be treated as adults. But please keep, in, keep trying for yourself. I'm going back to Japan on July 10th, and unfortunately, I have to go back to high school for six more months, and I will graduate next February. I want to go to a private university in Tokyo, so I have many hard, very hard tests to take. Anyway, my experience here was sometimes hard for me, but it was being so great. I matter so much, and I learned many here about United States. And I have my, I have my host family, the Woods family, to thank, and all my friends. You have all made my year in United States unforgettable and shown to me American life as it is. I'm also thankful to all teachers for helping me my English and me and encouraging me. And thank you for letting me come to USA and my Japanese family. Thank you, Dad, Ma'am, Mindy, Don, Michi. I love you all. Thank you, my great buddies. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Kowaler High School. I'm gonna miss you. Thanks. John Vance was a 1975 graduate of Coldwater High School. And we believe that he represented the highest standards of character and achievement to which all students should aspire. He was not just an athlete, nor an honor student, nor a student leader. He was all of these. On May 25, 1982, John lost a year-long battle with cancer. In memory of John Vance, we, the faculty and staff of Coldwater High School, would like to honor a student who represents the highest standards that John exemplified. Tonight, we would like to present the John Vance Award to Mr. Eric Beckhusen. a really special night for all of us, especially for the people sitting up here in gowns. I want to add my personal congratulations to each of you for completing the task of 13 years of school with us and hope that you will be able to take from here uh, enough knowledge so that you can make an impact on the world that's, that's before you. You have great opportunity and we all envy you. You're chance to move ahead from this point. Will the members of the class of 1988 please rise? On behalf of the faculty and administration at the high school, I present the class of 1988 to the Board of Education and in so doing certify that each member has met the requirements for a diploma and is entitled to all of the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. By the authority of the state of Michigan, vested in the Board of Education, and by them delegated to me as president, I hereby confer upon you the diploma of Coldwater High School. Please be seated. Will the graduates please come to the platform to receive their diplomas? Thank you. 
sand. All set? Ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, could you step back farther? I can't see. I'm this size. Towards you. The valedictorian Thank you. Thank you. of the class of 1988, Scott Michael Wu. Step right up there, Scott. The salutatorian of the class of 1988, Anne Marie Kurzweil. Michelle Lee Brown. Christy Gail Fightwood. Representing Germany, Mr. Wolfgang Florian Fenner. Representing Japan, Ms. Eriko Asai. Is that all right, Stan? James Charles Holden. Vanda May Enos. Tracy Ann Clark. Shannon Lynn Dudek. Laura Beth Miller. Dawn Lynn Molman. Can you give him any more volume? Michelle Diane Greenlee. <laughs> William W. Porter III. <laughs> Sherry Lynn Bates. Laura Lynn Marshall. Heidi Joe Burke. Tina Marie Hale. Kelly Joe Haller. Leanne Marie Zabalski. Amy K. Stevens. Lisa K. Wilson. Audrey Lynn Woodman. Anastasia Marie Zavitz. Lynette Michelle Adams. Tony Marie Jones. Lisa Marie Seiler. Elizabeth Ann Swick. Pamela Susan Velsky. Rhonda Marie Green. Thank you. Deanne Renee Thompson. Yeah. 
Kenny Lynn Horn. Jane Renee Seagraves. Elizabeth Joy Conant. Pamela Dawn Garman. Lori Ann Silver. Dawn Sherry Baster. Teresa Lynn Grady. Bridget Ann Darby. Julia Marie DeYoung. Sarah Jane Azeltine. Janice Garnet McCurdy. Tanya Sue Morrison. Melissa Ann Knowles. Sherry Lynn Price. Tammy Michelle Raymond. Lisa Ann Wilson. Michelle Ann Lawfrey. Tammy Jean Reynolds. Tammy Sue Barber. Roberta Ann Bowers. Lisa K. Hook. <laughs> Kelly Joe Tobalski. <laughs> Rachel Shape Cornish. <laughs> Linda Ann Cade. Michelle Marie Boston. <laughs> Cynthia Kathleen Yoke. <laughs> Jason Jacob Yaki. <laughs> Larry Patrick Reese. Larry I. Converse, Jr. Sarah Kathleen Neely. Matthew James Galliers. There you go, man. Michael and Dennis McCafferty. Lisa Diane Blancet. Amy Suzanne Moore. Marnie Ann Rockwood. Kara Jane Zeliff.
Michelle Renee Nichols. Monica Louise Crawford. Sarah Marie Jessup. Stacy Lee Luce. Shaley Ann Nicely. Cammie Lynn Frick. Andrew John Stahaviak. Todd Daniel Stuckey. Miley Edward Semerov. Paul Anthony Balzo. Russell Thomas Porter. Donald Dustin Hinson. Dennis Arthur Cole. David Ernest Cole. Christopher Paul Martin. Good smile. Paul Owen Ward. Way to go, Paul. Harold Ellis Morris. Corey James Hinshaw. Donald Matthew Reed. Gail Renee Grigsby. Emily Ann Stanky. Sean Eric Sevedal. Brian Scott Rock. Douglas Harrison Thomas. Dawn Elizabeth Whitaker. Stacy Lee Clark. Eric Allen Snow. <laughs> Kelly Barbara Langley. <laughs> Christina Ann Baker. <laughs> Jennifer Suzanne Henry. Melinda Eileen Woods. Christine Lynn Tobalski. Dawn Marie DeSico. Nicholas Dean Westgate. Kimberly Ann Reisner. <laughs> Shannon Renee Parker. <laughs> Lori Jean Schmidt.
Jamie M. Howard. Michael Scott Lowndes. Mark A. Moulton. Jason James Rupp. Thomas Richard Landis. James Christopher Greenwald. John Charles Smith. Christopher Wayne Flint. Eric James Dantes. Anthony Joseph Vern. Stephen Carl Denlo. Mark James Nichols. Brent Alwyn Grahalski. William T. Patterson. Peter Michael Timmer. David Michael Larimer. Adam Troy Turner. Tad Nathan Thayer. Patrick Collins Angle. Michael Allen Carpenter. Michael J. Pollock. Sean Michael Berger. Chad Michael Holt. Chris Rollins. Paul Allen Miller. Donald Harold Ankney. Neil Thomas Wallace. James William Niblet. Sean K. Bagley. Urban Joseph Kentowski. Evan David Lane. David Vaughn Shenfield. Patrick Lynn Kelly. Brian Edward Henschick. Annabelle Ruth Strobel. Michelle Annette Green. Jennifer Jean Sisko. Dale Edmund Chrisman. Dwayne Sheldon McVicker.
Russell Edward Counterman. <laughs> Tina Marie Snow. <laughs> Jody Jane Knott. John Paul Pointer. Brian Wayne Owens. Angel Alvarado Rojas. William Todd Piper. Kevin Eugene Barker. James Donald Heineman. Evan Joseph King. Orville Scott Elkins. Norman Jean Carl Jr. Robert Charles Walker. Scott Harold Sterling. Harold Shannon Crampton. Michael Patrick Duddy. Jenny Lynn Diesel. Michelle Renee Love. Lisa Marie Fulbright. Michelle Lee Ruffner. Barbara Lee Henning. Julie Marie Clayman. Loretta Lynn Armstead. Christopher James Burr. Willard R. Strong. Stephen Charles Lockridge. Dean M. Scheidler. Gregory Allen Dutcher. Todd Allen Krasminski. Scott Allen Ruby. Richard Eugene Ellis. Kenneth Theodore Grahalski. Mark Stephen George. David Harold Ashdown. Gary Lee Halperty. Mark James Van Blarken. Travis Robert Thayer. John Ray Keyes. Todd Eric Johnson. Kirk Allen Gorby.
Robert Lee Warren. Ben M. Salt. Richard Michael Parent. Mary LaRue Beckwith. Stacy Lynn Clausen. Lonnie Michelle Chapel. Kelly Renee McNall. Rhonda Lynn Nagel. Lori Denise Chapel. Lucinda Marie Bedzik. Savan Chindasi. <laughs> Kenneth J. Quimby. Aaron Edward Franton. Todd Allen Miller. Roger Allen Cram. Bradley Kent Bettinger. Douglas Leather Lake. Lashan Ray Valley. Robinette Catherine Broke. Paula Janine Bruner. Kristen Marie Bell. Tara Lynn Hatfield. Dear Margaret Knapp. <laughs> Colleen Ruth Brown. <laughs> Jennifer Lynn Baranowski. <laughs> Rhonda Lynn Hoopengarner. Bryce Allen Bettinger. Jason Allen Rubley. Brian Paul Fee. Nicholas John Fazekas III. Anthony David Gray. Craig Allen Winbigler. Charles Paul Jessup. Richard David Aker. Eric Hans Beckusen. Paul Herman Beckusen. Sherry K. Smith. Timothy Lynn Muckle. Michelle Renee Barr.
Leslie and Bowling. Lisa and Burke. Carrie A. Sheets. Dewey Ray Harris. Derek Shane Ross. <laughs> ladies and ladies and gentlemen, I just would like to remind you that the entire ceremonies tonight have been videotaped and they will be shown on channel 31 at approximately 9.20 tonight, especially if there are those who could not physically make it here tonight and for those who would like to see it again. I'd like to congratulate the class of 88. You really did well tonight, really proud of you. Members of the class of 1988, I welcome you as alumni of Coldwater High School. Would you please rise and be presented to this audience. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of 1988. Ladies and gentlemen, would you rise for the benediction? Can we bow for prayer, please? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you've done for us and how you brought us this far through the 13 years of our schooling. Just guide us in the years ahead and take us where you'd like us to go. Show us your love through the accomplishments you give us and show us your guidance through all the trying times that you put before us. Help us to learn from you. Just be with us now as we continue on our future. And thank you for loving us so much and bringing us this far. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.